Okay, so this is a simulation on a FA20 valve problem or rocker problem. That is exactly what happens to your rockers. If you don't have what I have on this side. So this is the FA20 engine out of the Toyota 86, which I uh, removed, uh, gearbox attached, uh, half an hour or so to pull it out of the car, car's above, um, on the hoist, gearbox attached, no need to remove that, as I said. Um, we've removed the ignition coils, spark plugs, and the rocker covers only on each side. With the spark plugs out, we've inserted a screwdriver, just a long Phillips head screwdriver inside the spark plug tube down towards the piston so we're touching the piston and we'll wind this over we'll get the exhaust we're going to do the exhaust these two here the exhaust rockers uh, I've done the inlet but I'll show you if these are easier to see I'll do the exhaust now the inlet and exhaust need to be done all the rockers need to have these little rocker retainers on them because they're all prone to actually falling out or dropping out so what we need to do is just uh, rotate the crankshaft around so we have the lobes on the exhaust cam here away obviously from the rockers and the piston a fair way down the bore so we're not going to clip valves on piston so it's a fair way down we're not going to damage anything there by doing what we need to do so now with the piston halfway down the bore we can and the rockers here are actually away from the Sorry, the cam lobes are away from the rocker and we have your normal clearance here on the rockers. Now, with a big pry bar is what I use. There's many ways you can do it, but this is the easiest way I found to do it. Um, we push that just below the rocker and on top of the valve spring retainer and just lever onto the pry bar with your finger, pushing the rocker across and push in the valve spring and valve down. As easy as that. Now this is what we're trying to eliminate. This is exactly what happens when the engine self-destructs because these fall out, especially out of the inlet here. So I know, drop down onto the exhaust. Exhaust cam low picks it up and punches it out the rocker cover here. And you have oil going all over the exhaust, which is just under here, glowing red. Um, and well, you've got a fire. So anyway, so we have developed these rocker retainers which will uh, completely eliminate this from happening. So once we remove the rocker, there is, it's really important that you don't lose or drop this little bucket which sits on top of the valve stem. We'll place that back in and don't mix that up. It's really important that it remains where it is. Um, and it sits on top of the valve stem, it just locks in. It just stays there. Um, now we remove the actual pivot. Some people call it a lash adjuster, but it's not actually a lash adjuster. Um, all it is is a little pivot, oil fed, solid. Okay, so we remove that. We replace these with the modified ones. So we have, I've all soaked them just to get some lubrication on them. So we'll place that in its spot. It's a lot easier to see on the exhaust cam here doing this. The inlets are a little bit more difficult, but not so hard. Now, this is the tricky bit. This is the rock, the rocker clip. Okay, you put that onto the actual end of the rocker where it pivots onto the other end there, not the valve stem side, obviously the pivot end. So that's the rocker retainer clip, I call it. And that's what they're called anyway. But we've developed these to use on only this engine. There you go, so I'll place that in. It's important that this goes, you've got to feed this bit onto the rocker, onto the valve stem, and making sure that the little lash adjuster bucket has it dislodged off the valve stem. Now we're keeping a little bit of load on it, towards the camshaft lobe. We'll push that valve spring down again. And having this pry bar underneath it actually will stop that from dropping down as we push the spring down. So we'll push the spring down and slide the rocker 
over onto the pivot, just like so. Now you'll hear a click, like so. And that neatly just locks that rocker onto the pivot. Now making sure that the little bucket hasn't come away off the bottom of the uh, rocker there that sits on top of the valve stem. You've still got clearance, so it's not, it hasn't uh, wedged itself sideways. It's nice and free. Got plenty of clearance. We'll check those clearances later with a feeler gauge to make sure they're correct. But if you keep all those lush adjusters in the same position, you shouldn't have a problem. And there you go, as simple as that. That's one done. Right? All the inlet ones are done. They're a little bit trickier, but much the same way. This is just easier for the camera to see what actually happens. That now, no matter what you do, is locked into place, will never fall out. No matter what sort of RPM you do. That's it, done.